What's going on guys and girls? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for freedom. So guys, if you hear a little going on, it's my air conditioner behind me. Um, I normally do these tutorials and all my videos with my AC off in my game studio. However, it's extremely hot today. So I've got my AC on 72 and uh, my fan is on too so if you guys hear that just ignore it i'm sure i think you guys can still hear me pretty good i think i, I checked a while ago it was all right so forgive me for the noise guys but i've got to stay cool doing this or i'll be very very uncomfortable anyway guys today we're going to be installing vocal dispatch this is actually a request uh from one of my subscribers on youtube uh i can't remember your name maybe because so many comments come in but thank you man for this uh idea on this video this this episode of criminal justice is dedicated to you my man whoever it was that, that wanted this done so it's dedicated to you bro uh anyways guys let's go ahead and get started um go ahead and click that link down there that says vocal dispatch in the description and it's going to bring you to this page right here guys and girls vocal dispatch one sorry about that guys 1.8.1.0 now the first thing i want to say before we download this guys before you do anything keep in mind that you have to have a certain type of microphone for this to pick up. Now, for me, when I first got Vocal Dispatch months ago, when I first got LSPFR, which was about six, seven months ago, I tried my headset and it didn't seem to work too good. And it's a pretty good headset. I've, I've used it on a lot of my um, tutorials and stuff. But right now, I'm talking into a blue uh, a blue snowball ice microphone so if you guys know what that is i will actually try and look that microphone up and leave that in the description so you guys can check it out it's about a 50 dollar to 100 dollar mic so they're not too pricey but not too cheap either at the same time you know what i'm saying so just keep in mind guys that the snowball ice mic that i have works perfect for vocal dispatch sometimes it does have its flaws where it doesn't pick me up and then sometimes it works great but just keep in mind, guys, if your microphone does not work, you might want to consider buying a different type of microphone, maybe a Blue Snowball Ice or something that may be a little better. You don't really know what's going to work until you just get it and try it because there's no specific directions on here on saying what type of microphone you have to have for this. Okay? So anyway, guys, let's go on down and click the Download This File button right there, the green box you see. Click that. And you're going to click Agree and Download. All right. So we'll give that just a few seconds. If you'll notice right here, it usually has a countdown to when it's going to start. Uh, okay, never mind. Here it is. Okay, so as always, guys, what do you want to do with vocaldispatch.zip? Well, you can either click this save right here and it'll go directly to your downloads folder for those using Windows 10. Or, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Mountain Dew is talking to me. Or you can click save as. And you can put it in any folder that you want right here, okay? Any folder. Now, it goes directly to my plugins folder, I believe it is right here. Uh, or this is my main install folders or GTA 5. Oh, it's my GTA 5 plugins for mods. So, it would actually install right here because I think that's where I had it before. But anyway, you can click that save as and you can put it wherever you want or just click the save and put it directly in your downloads folder. Now that we're done with that, you guys have got it downloaded. I'm going to close out of that. And we're done with that part. Now, there's two things you're going to need for this. You're going to need your GTA 5 main directory. Go ahead and pull that up. And then go ahead and double click that vocal dispatch up here that you got on your desktop, wherever you got it at. Go ahead and click that and open it up. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do, guys. So, this is a very simple install. It's, there's nothing hard about it. It's just like any other plugin that you install. It's pretty much drag and drop in the main directory, is what it is. So, just pay attention to what I'm doing here and follow along. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, four, five different folders here. Now this right here is like a license uh, folder. This is a readme.pdf, which tells you all about the app. And I mean the app. Listen to me. I've been on my phone too much. It tells you all about the mod and everything. Now these three folders on the top, hold down your control key on your keyboard. Doesn't matter which control key, just hold it down. And then click the auto ltx3 underscore times 64.dll. Highlight that one. Highlight plugins and highlight LSPDFR. Now, make sure your directory is down in this general area right above the G GTA 5.exe. Okay, this is where you want to install, guys. You don't want to throw it into here because if you do, it'll launch your GTA 5, and you don't want to put it in your folders at all. Okay, because it just sucks it all up and it'll be a waste of time. You're going to mess up your whole game. So, grab these three files that you have highlighted right here, as you see on my screen, and grab them. Pull them over in your main directory just like this. 
and drop them right there okay now I've already installed it of course so I'm just letting you guys do that once you're done with that scroll back up you're gonna go into your plugins folder right here okay so click plugins double click LSPDFR and then scroll all everything's in alphabetical order okay guys so scroll all the way down to vocal dispatch because your V's are at the end you got a dot DLL and an I and I double click that I and I file we're not gonna do too much in here so um, all this stuff on the top right here leave that completely alone unless you just have to change your language right here or something um, but just all this right here like from here up don't bother none of that okay so all the things highlighted in blue don't bother that stuff like I said, unless you just have to change your your language right here, then you can do what you got to do. Now, down here below this, on this part right here, all this, see this is what we're going to mess with. Okay, so this, these two controls right here, this is right menu and right control key. Listen to me, guys. When it says panic modifier key, right control key, you don't have to mess with that. Don't Don't worry about that, okay? What you want to do is when you use vocal dispatch, you're going to use, you're actually going to click the Alt GR key, if you know what I'm talking about, the Alt GR key, okay? And all you have to do is you don't have to hold it down, you just push it and let go and talk, all right? So if you know where the Alt GR key is right beside, should be beside your, if your Windows key is on the right side of your keyboard, it should be right beside your Windows key, okay? So it's Alt GR key. And that's what you're going to use. I'm not sure why they put this in here. I haven't really tried this yet. The right control key for panic modifier. Uh, maybe that's a panic button I haven't been aware of or something. I have no idea. But I'm just showing you guys what I know. So with that being said, don't mess with this. Now this right here, guys, in this general area, this is your controller, okay? So it gives you options here on what controls you can pick for your vocal dispatch to activate it. It gives you every option on the controller from your, your D-pad to your bumpers to your triggers and everything else right here, okay? Including your A, B, X, Y buttons, okay? Now, like you guys, of course, know, for me, I never use anything on my controller, just, just one thing, and that's my simple trainer, okay? So if I were you, I would just go ahead and mark these as none. And you can do that two ways. You can either type it in, just make sure the first N is capitalized and the rest is lowercase, okay? But you can do this two ways. You can either type it in, or you can go like this and highlight that none, and right-click and hit Copy, and then go here and and highlight that one, whatever it was, I can't remember, and then right-click and then paste your none to right there. And do the same on this one. Hit Paste, and it will paste the word none, okay? See that? Okay. Now, down to, down to Division Unit and Beat Number. Now this is what you go by on LSPDFR. So if you go by, um, just say for example, two George ten, okay, that's what you're going to put right here. If you go by five Lincoln uh, twenty three, that's what you're going to put right here. My division unit and beat is one Adam seven, okay. So that's what I put right here. Now you guys are probably going to want to change that if you want the dispatcher to recognize you and who you are. Because if not, she's going to call you out by default, and that's one link in 18. Okay? So, but if your number is one link in 18, then just leave it the way it is. Uh, or change it if it needs to be changed. Anyway, guys, when you're done changing that up, click File. Click Save. Or click the X, and then click Save and Prompt to. So let's close out of this. It's going to ask me to save it because I messed around with it a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then go back to the main page of your directory. Now, I want you guys to double-click on LSPDFR right here. See that? Double-click on that. Double-click your police scanner, and it's going to show your vocal dispatch audio right here, just so you guys know what's in there. Okay, this is all your vocal dispatch audio. So if you need to listen to anything, uh, you can go into here like your um, division. This is all your division right here, 1 through 10, okay? And then uh, unit type is going to be your names. You know, Adam, Boy, Charles, David, Edward, Frank. Now, this is your license plates, too. Think about that. When you pull somebody over and you see these letters, that's your license plate names, okay? So it's good to just have this. Maybe you might want to just, you know, kind of um, copy all that and put it into a note or something so you guys can have that. I mean, that's that's how I done it. I just copied it and put it in my notepad, and I sit there and read over them for hours until I got it down. And uh, there's still times that I forget. But anyway, let's go back. Just keep in mind that those right there are your license plate names as well, okay? 
So if you see a license plate with the letter C on it, it's going to be Charles. If you see one with the letter J, it's going to be John. Okay? Just, just showing you guys here. So we're going into deep detail here. Too much, maybe. All right, now go back to your main page in your directory and click Refresh. And you can close out your directory. You can close out your WinRAR and get rid of that shortcut right there. And I will see you guys inside of the game. All right, guys. So here we are in the game. Uh, there's really not too much to do on this part. Um, but I figured I would go ahead and come in the game and show you guys the basics on this vocal dispatch. Um, so I don't really need to pull anybody over or anything like that. But I did get a nice little cop car here just to just to show it off a little bit because I love this pack. It's really cool. Um, but anyway, guys. So here's what you want to do. So. I actually will go out and pull somebody over just so we can get into actual role play and uh, show you guys how this vocal dispatch really works. That way it'd be a little bit more realistic to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just snatch somebody up here. <laughs> I'm going to snatch somebody up real quick like I'm going to beat them up. That's what I made it sound like. All right, so I'm going to pull this card over right here. Oh, well, I actually got him, so we'll get him instead. We're going to pull him over. And get him over the side of the road here real quick. So just keep in mind, guys, you have to say your words plain, speak very clearly, and kind of slow, okay? So we're going to... Well, this is actually is not going to work at all. I'm going to have this guy move somewhere else. I'm going to actually take him over here in the dirt. So he'll be over there out of the road, safe and sound. Hopefully he doesn't get hit on the way out. That's a little bit of traffic police I was using there, guys. If y'all know, if y'all have that mod, I know what it does and all that. All right, so I'm up behind him here. Now, the first thing you want to do, of course, always is run a tag. But when you're using vocal dispatch, your vocal dispatch comes first in this scenario, okay? So all you're going to say, you're going to push the Alt GR key, okay? You just push it and let it go. It's going to make a noise. And after the noise, after it makes the noise, you speak very clearly like this. One Adam, show me 1195. Roger that. Okay, so you're going to say the first part of your, your division and beat name. Being that mine's one Adam seven, I'll say one Adam. Show me eleven ninety five, which just means routine traffic stop. Okay, and then she'll she'll come back to you and she'll say that. So let's do it one more time. One Adam, show me eleven ninety five. Roger. Now sometimes she'll say Roger. Sometimes she'll say copy that. Sometimes she'll say ten four one Adam seven. She'll repeat your beat name back to you. Uh, so just say that we're arri arriving on the scene. Uh, arriving on scene means 1090 is 1097, so we're going to go like this. Dispatch, show me 1097. Roger, 1, Adam, 7. Okay, so see there, she actually repeated the name to me. Um, now, if you're in a situation as to where you need backup, you're going to say it just like this. Requesting code 2 backup. Assistance required on Sonora Freeway. Okay, so we have code 2 backup coming in. Now, if you want code 3, if you want code 3 backup, you say the same thing. Requesting code 3 backup. Assistance required I'll send code on, 3 for you. Uh, Sonora Freeway. Now, I'm not sure if this one works, but I'm going to try it. Shots fired, shots fired. Units. Shots fired at an officer on okay, so that does Sonora work. Freeway. Respond code three. So you can actually just say shots fired, shots fired, and she'll send code three backup immediately. Now this code three backup coming in will be a little different because you just said shots were fired, so they're going to come in, you know, in a bit of a hurry. Now, if it takes them a little bit to get here, guys, you're just calling to ultimate backup. That's all you're using in vocal dispatch is ultimate backup. You can always hold the backspace to spawn them in real fast. Okay, which it doesn't always turn out great. See how it does. So it's best just let them kind of show up on their own <laughs> because that was not very good at all. That was not very realistic. 
So I'm going to go ahead and um, get out. And just for just for giggles and for this video, I'm going to arrest this guy and I'm going to show you how to call for transport. How's it going, man? I'm Officer Justice with the uh, Sandy Shores Police Department. Uh, I need you to step in on the vehicle real quick. Hey. Just come on out. Now, normally you guys would just get their ID first, of course, but I'm doing this just because. And it's, it's going to act up sometimes. Uh, just for your safety and mine, I'm going to go ahead and uh, detain you real quick. If I can get him detained. LSPD, stand down. Damn See, guys, we all have issues with this LSPDFR. It, it happens. Hold here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and stop the pet and uh, just turn him around. Not all right, man, place your hands behind your back. You've been placed under arrest right now. I'll tell you what for in just a second when I figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got him under arrest. We're going to grab him with the stop the pad. Now, when you call for transport, it doesn't matter whether they're standing. I know with the vanilla style, uh, they have to be kneeled down to call for transport, but with vocal dispatch, you don't have to do that, okay? You can actually be just holding them and call for vocal dispatch. This is how you do it. If you want transport, you hit the Alt-GR key again. Let me get away from him because he, he's going to keep doing that if I don't. Requesting transport. Backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. So see how I kind of speak slowly and clearly for the vocal dispatch? That's how you have to do it. Now, if you guys want to write this stuff down, what I'm saying, that's cool. Go ahead. Uh, now, same thing for fire truck and, and ambulance. You just say requesting ambulance, requesting fire truck, requesting coroner. I think you can actually say requesting CIA. Um... No, not C. It's not CIA. What am I thinking? CSI. I'm sorry. Requesting CSI. Assistance needed. And now we'll bring the corner team in. Okay. Now, if you know the codes to ambulance and um, fire truck, then you can uh, say that too, I believe. But the way that I do it is, I just go requesting ambulance. Ambulance. Backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. Same thing if you want a fire truck, guys. Requesting fire truck. We've got assistance needed in Grande Sonora Desert. And we're going to have every unit here in the county, so. Roger. We're heading over now. <laughs> Again, guys, you can hold the backspace because you're just using ultimate backup through vocal dispatch. That's all it's doing. So hold your backspace. It'll spawn them in if you want to. If not, you can wait for them to get here. The yellow marker is your ambulance. That's great. This is exactly why I do not spawn them in. That was wonderful. Anyway, guys, that is the basics of vocal dispatch. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, when you pull up on scene, you can say, uh, show me 1097, show me 1195. Uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, so just say if I'm pulling up on a scene right now, I'm going to go code three just to get into the role play. Oh, sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. And so we're going to pull up. I'll just say we're coming onto the scene right here. Just say we're showing up on the scene. All right. You're going to stop. You're going to hit your button. Alt-GR. Dispatch. Show me 1097. 10 four, one, Adam 7. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. Uh, if you have any requests at all for tutorials, any kind of videos, any kind of games you want to see me play, uh, leave it in the comments below. Make sure that you like this video, please, and get my video out there so everybody else can see it. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Uh, whatever you're doing, guys, keep doing it. Don't stop doing it. Just keep on keeping on. And don't stop pushing, guys. Always keep going. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.